Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, a while back I put up a post showing that uh, Amazon had these 40,000 milliamp power banks on sale for a pretty good price. Uh, capacity, 40,000 milliamps. And uh, the price was like 29 bucks. It had an outrageous list price of $189. Um, so I started using this thing and I noticed that the capacity was going down pretty fast for something that should be 40,000 milliamps, you know. And uh, I did a 50% charge. I let it get down to 50% and I ran it back up to 100. And uh, I got nowhere near, you would think, Half of 40 would be 20,000 milliamps. I didn't, I didn't get anywhere near 20,000 milliamps. I don't remember what I got the first time. But uh, after that, I discharged it completely to zero. I hooked up another USB tester that I've got, that little one that's, you know, the cover fell off of and everything. I put it on a charger. And at the end, I got 5,900 milliamps. I thought, well, that can't be right. There's something wrong. You know, this thing weighs almost a pound. It's heavy enough that it should, it should be, you know, like equivalent to, uh, you know, that they could have put a, that kind of capacity in there. So last night I charged this thing up using this tester, which is just another USB-C type of tester. At the end of four and a half hours of charging... I got 5,930 milliamps capacity. So, this battery bank is a scam. I don't know why Amazon allows this stuff to happen. Usually when you're buying a battery bank, you're looking at capacity. The rated capacity. Uh, now, everything else about this thing is, is good. It's got a, a decent flashlight on it. It has this... Uh, quick charge capability that you know out of my uh out of my little charger there i was able to put 12 volts one amp into it uh out of a normal charger so i mean it can it can accept a lot of different voltages the circuitry and everything about this thing i like what i don't like is them lying about this stuff they lied about the capacity it's nowhere near it's not even a 10,000 milliamp power bank and that pisses me off because, yeah, I could return it and I could go through all this other stuff. But here, you know, in one of my posts, I recommended to people, hey, this is a good deal. It's not a good deal. It's a ripoff. And uh, I'm, I'm probably going to keep the thing because one of the things they do to, to make you feel like it's a heavy duty, you know, or a high capacity thing is to put weights in the bank. So that it feels like it's heavy. That it feels like it's got, you know, what it's in there. But a lot, you know, before there's been sand, lead. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that they've done to fake you into thinking you're getting a higher capacity than what you are. Now, I wrote a review on Amazon. And I gave it a one star. And I put pictures up there and everything else. And I was going to write a, a, a thing about the seller. But uh, the review that I did for Amazon won't appear for a day or two they said they'll send me an email when it's when it's up and all this other stuff so it might be up there now I'll, I'll look at it but the thing is this battery bank is a ripoff 5,900 milliamp battery bank with this capacity should be no more than like 10 or 15 dollars you know you can get much better ones than this for for that price so it still happens you'll see it on uh lithium ion batteries they'll lie about the capacities you know they'll say oh you know most lithium ion 18650s only have uh let's see 3000 milliamps but ours has 5000 you won't know it until you test it and the only way you can test it is to discharge it and then charge it back up and see how many milliamps it took to bring it back up to 100%. And in this case, it was nowhere near 40,000. Oh, it was just, 
I thought, you know, well, maybe they're going to be just a little bit low. Because all the reviews I said, one of them said that he was trying to calculate out the capacity using mathematics. You know, he figured out his phone had a 4,000 milliamp battery in it. And took, he was going to be able to get 10 charges out of it. And he only got like one or two. And so he's trying to figure out, you know, mathematically what happened. Well, get yourself a tester, man. That's the easy way to do it. There's no... There's no muss or fuss. And they both, I thought, okay, my tester was bad. They both came up with basically the exact same reading. So I'm sorry for anybody, if anybody bought one of these, go ahead and return it to Amazon. Uh, you can refer them uh, to my video. I'll include pictures in here of the final uh, reading on that and everything. I did another little uh, movie I'll try to include in here where when I was testing it at 50%, the reading that I got, I'll, I'll loop that one in with this one also. But uh, there you go. I apologize for anybody that happened to buy one of these on um, my suggestion. My thought was that, man, if you can get one of these that's 40,000 milliamps for $29, that's a good deal. It's not a good deal when it's 6,000 milliamps. I'm giving it a little, I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt. 5,900, okay, well, we'll, we'll just round it off to 6,000 milliamps. That's ridiculous. That's stupid. Um, and it's just, again, can you trust the company? On a Chinese company, you, you know, you just got to go on reviews or what people did to test because anybody can write anything down here. You, can, you should, might as well write. 400,000 milliamps, you know, because a lie, you might as well make it a good lie. If you're going to lie, you might as well make it a good lie. And they did in this case. They, they did a good lie there. So um, that's why on electronics, a lot of times it's buyer beware. And, uh, and on battery banks especially, you really should check. Um, now, there's glowing reviews on this. People will just basically list down all the advantages of having this thing, and it's such a great thing. You'll see more glowing reviews in Amazon on this thing than you will negative reviews because very few people realize they've been ripped off. <laughs> um, I don't think mine is a one-off, you know, like, oh, mine just has a bad battery in it or something. No, I, I think that this was purposely done to mislead you, to, to, to get you to part with your money and uh yeah it's unfortunate these things happen but there there you go anyways thank you for watching and have a nice day